Carl Anthony Towns. East, take it away. I'm here with Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, Carl, I saw you rocking the fur coat earlier. What inspired that outfit? Uh, you know what? It's a little chilly out here, and I think uh, after you uh, you win a three-point contest, I think it's only right to come in with a little showtime. So a little Magic Johnson vibes, I call it, you know, walking in the tunnel. And you definitely gave all of that last night by proving yourself to be one of the best shooting big men in the league, a contest that hasn't been won by a big man in over a decade, and you're bringing it back home to Minnesota. Where are you going to put the trophy at? Ooh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out right now as we speak. Uh, I'm thinking my office so I can see it or maybe put it in the front of the house so everyone who walks in can see it. But um, now, yeah, it's, it's coming back home where it belongs. A decade ago, a big man by the name of Kevin Love won it from Minnesota, and uh, it's only right a decade later I can bring it home. Right, and the NBA is doing a lot to uplift underrepresented voices by supporting HBCU students like myself from ANT, and you are one of the youngest members part of the NBA Social Justice Coalition. What impact do you hope to have on the black community? I hope to give people of color a chance that are, has never been present to them, I feel like, in history. So trying to give them all the resources they need. I think one of the biggest things for even for people of color, but for my experience with everything is uh, it's just the resources. You know, you're never given the opportunity nor the chances nor the, the materials or resources needed to succeed. So let's try to change that, use this platform for better. NBA has been an amazing partner and they've done an amazing job in trying to help with social justice and everything that could go on and that could help the society and bring equality. So. Uh, shout out to Adam, shout out to uh, Michelle Roberts who was here now to me. Yeah, just shout out to everyone really putting their, uh, really putting actions into words, you know, and just doing what they needed to get done so we could give the resources to people of color uh, who deserve it. And uh, I think at HBCUs is a great uh, building block for us to go because, you know, at the end of the day, HBCUs truly holds all the history of this country. So, um, just giving people of color a chance and showing that we could do anything we put our minds to. Uh, it's really special and it's only right that we give back to where our culture really is. Definitely. And putting action into words is so important. And we are looking forward to see you put some action in on the court tonight as well. Thank you so much, Adam. Back to you. Oh, my East with the killer. She's killing it.